We're on the eve of phone week as I head off to the annual Mobile World Congress, but it recently struck me that all the new phones I'm going to be seeing run the same OS. So before we go all in on Android for MWC, let's take a quick look at a phone platform that you may never have heard of. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the Sailfish OS. The last extended experience I had with Sailfish was back in 2013, when I demoed it for Pocket Now on a piece of hardware called the Yola Phone. Nowadays, if you want to run Sailfish well, you do it on other people's hardware. The demo unit I've borrowed from Yola is a Sony Xperia X, which is about two years old, but still powerful enough to run the OS known as Sailfish X. Now, if you're looking for reasons to care about Sailfish from a practical standpoint, frankly, there aren't many. Much of the platform's identity can be summed up as, we're not Android. Yola was one of the first to come out strongly against Google's data collection strategies, and Selfish continues to market itself as an independent and adaptable alternative. The folks behind Selfish have even found a way to have their cake and eat it too by implementing Android app support. But to me, the alternative or underdog status is not as interesting as the interface. At the risk of sounding a little woo-woo, this software is very soothing. It's bound together by a thoughtful aesthetic, with colors tying together themes called ambiences. The home screen takes a cue from older platforms like BlackBerry 10. It's a totally clean canvas until you start opening apps, at which point it stacks them sequentially and gives you glanceable tiles that you can open with a tap. Just like on the Google Pixel, your apps live in a drawer that you flick up from the bottom of the screen, but unlike Android, you don't have to stretch your thumb unnaturally to get at your notifications up top. Instead, they reside in a feed that lives off to the left and can be accessed from any screen. That's half of what makes Sailfish so nice to use one-handed, and the other half is how context menus work. When an app has a menu full of choices, it'll stack those options above the screen and selecting one is just a matter of pulling down with a thumb until you highlight the one you want. It's also aided by haptics, so you feel a little click with each option. And again, you never need to get a second hand involved or hold the phone unnaturally to reach a far off toggle. The same goes for the back function. There's no back button because you just swipe when you want to go up a level. And you know when that's an option, thanks to these strategic little spark highlights. Granted, it's not the most intuitive software ever. Even after a few weeks of using it, I still have trouble remembering that a drag in from the side is what gets me back home, instead of a swipe up from the bottom. And truth be told, the phone still has trouble recognizing some of those interactions as well. Apple's gesture-driven interface on the iPhone X, itself inspired by Palm's webOS, is better in a few ways. And now that Apple has decided to combat Google by emphasizing its own privacy advantages against Android, well, Let's just say it doesn't look like Sailfish will ever carve out a huge slice of the consumer market. After all, the time for new mobile platforms has come and gone. But as we settle in for yet another smartphone cycle dominated by two platforms that look more alike with each passing year, it helps to remember that alternatives like Sailfish are out there. And they've got good ideas that I wish the establishment players would implement. This video was brought to you by Thrifter. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Folks, if you're still using an alternative operating system like Windows Phone, BlackBerry 10, or Sailfish OS, let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss everything from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona coming very soon. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.